see if we get some folks in here. I haven't been live in a while, so. Griping. I ain't griping what you talking about. What you doing? Randy, Mike, yeah, Mike, you are first. Welcome. I haven't seen you guys in a while, huh? Maybe this is a good sign of things to come for the team. I got some a little bit more traveling left to do, fly out Sunday. Fingers crossed everything goes well, and once all that's done, I should be back with you guys permanently. What's up? Nemo's in here. How's it going? Yum is. Alan, Corey, Chris. I should come over to Twitch. I've wondered about Twitch. I've heard a lot of things about folks on Twitch. They're, they're live streaming on Twitch. So I don't know anything about I've got Twitch because I play some video games and stuff, and that's what I use to update my mods. But as far as streaming, I don't know much about it. I don't know, that's why I was planning on going live at 7.30 or 7, but I seen him doing Unprompt Tuesday. He was going live, hanging out, chatting, Forge Update, so I was waiting on him, but never went live. I don't know if he had some difficulties or whatever, so I, I, I gave it as long as I could, but I went ahead and had to go live. We'll call this my birthday live stream. It's only been two days since my birthday, so we'll call it Happy Birthday Ting Ting Live Stream. There we go. Let the Forge get a hot. We're going to make a magic wand and a hearty hot cut tool. Uh, so, hope we'll have some fun, hang out. Forge is getting there. It's getting warm. It's getting warm now. They're all coming over from Hans's. Like I said, I didn't want to step on Hans' toe, so I waited and waited and waited. I don't, I don't know if he had difficulties or what, but he never went live. So, yeah, long time no see, Alan. We'll see you in September. Stream. Nobody knew I was going live. Thank you, Corey. Don, thank you, thank you. Billy, Billy's in here. I don't see Billy. Where's Billy? Yeah, hopefully I can get some magic into that wand. I don't know what's going on with my live stream. Am I all glitchy to you guys or is it just my phone? Make sure everybody was off the internet. A little bit annoying. So I'm going to have to get a new camera, or not a new camera, a new computer. Got the upper circle going, but if I lose you guys, I'm sorry. Did I close my red tube? Yeah, I closed it earlier. Oh, 
Punch mark one inch from the end, then another one five inches from the end. So that's going to put four inches between our center punch marks. And then the rest of this will be drawn out. Okay. And I want the overall length of the one. This will be cut both ways and make like a claw to put a marble in. So the overall length of the wand with the handle, not including this butt, just from the handle. I want it to be anywhere between 16 and 18 inches. $20, or that's $10. Let's see here. 10 from Ben Toombs as well. Don D. Thanks, guys. Get some beer. <laughs> Get my ish together. I'm trying, man, I'm trying. Okay, we got it marked out. Let's go into the forge now. First thing I want to work on is just draw this end out. We're going to draw out the wand part, and then we'll flip it around and split the butt of it. Gordon Farmer, what's going on? How you doing, man? All right, thanks for coming and hanging out, brother. Won't take that thing very long. Uh, the next thing we're gonna make is gonna be one of these uh, tapered hot cut hardy. I had an order come in for one that I promised I, they came in yesterday and I promised I'd get it out the door before I fly out Sunday. So I fly back out Sunday morning and I'll be gone for four days. Contact me said that he had lost his punch set and he uh, needed one pretty quick and asked if I could get him one done 
I, I got off the plane yesterday. I told him I have one day, one day, a day and a half to get the order done. If you place the order, I can see do it. So I'm doing everything I can. I got his punch set for it. Just needs to be a uh, ground now. <laughs> then I gotta do them a hot cut. Those things will uh, be in the mail. Lou Faith's out of here. We'll see you later, Lou Faith. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, 25 watch and 15 likes. Come on, guys. Hit that like button. also the same set that I'm wrapping. No, it's not the same set, but the set's just like that. It's uh, my 10-piece punch set. If you can, if you want to see them, you can go on my Etsy shop and look at all the different pictures of each individual punch. I believe I've got all of them on there. But yeah, exact same kind of set is what the fella just bought.
What dog ice cream? What y'all talking about? miserably hot outside for anybody else. It's hot for me. It's real hot for me. Ben's always had a wrench. What he lacks in height, he makes up in admin.
it off about here. Something like that. What? Glass. Thank you, Gordon. It's a little messy, but about every full-time blacksmith shop you go to is going to have messy, 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 messy stuff. We can't help it. And we can, we just choose not to. We like to make stuff. Well, it's preseason, Dad. Don't know what to about preseason, really. They ain't even played or had starters. Yeah. Talk about humidity. It's out in Vegas. It was 110 degrees. The normal temperature there during the day. It's still hotter here. I got off the plane here last night and it was like 85 degrees. I started sweating instantly. But I felt like I was, wearing, I was miserable. As soon as I got off the plane. Where I left Vegas yesterday, it was 110 when I got on the plane. And I wasn't sweating a bit. It didn't bother me. It felt like it was like 85 degrees. No humidity. I hate humidity. I hate it. I wish it was raining and cold here.
started a bi weekly uh, tool swap rapidly. The last one was a new set of hammers. This is one of them. Uh, they will be sent out uh, in about two weeks, or it's called this winter. They are going to go on a special little trip with me, and they will go out again when they come back. White Oak Ford, what's going on? So yeah, get in on the uh, bi weekly tool raffle if you want some of it. Five bucks a slot. It's going pretty well. He said, as long as uh, keeps going well, every other every other Sunday I'll get one rolling. You never know, it could be a hammer. It could be two hammers like the last one was. It could be a punch set. It could be a hammer drift. It could be a hammer punch. Uh, it could be fullering tools, skidding tools. You never know, you know what I'm saying? So every other week, check on it and see what we got going. Right now it's a 10 piece set, punch set. Slots on the bi the tool wrap. If you guys listen to me instead of talking to each other so much, you probably hear it. Pay attention to the guy on the screen. I've been talking about it for five minutes now. <laughs> hey, got to get some dollars in the conversation. Go get them. Five dollars a slot. PayPal me. Pick your numbers when you PayPal me. Black collar ironworks. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. 
Let's see. Yeah, they didn't have that going. Uh, they they didn't have they had finish locks in Vegas, but the only way you can get free drinks is twenty five cent bets or more. So it might as well just play quarter slots, right? At minimum bet. Circle of death. I hope not. Not in that cup, that's got tea in it. Whiskers are muffling my words. If 
you're gonna send your money for the slots, you got to comment on the Facebook post to go find it. You should be following me by now. If you're not, sorry for your luck. I'm not gonna ask you again. I'm not gonna tell you how to find it. My name is James Davis. Take your ass to Facebook and find it. But if you are following me, you see the post. It's at the very top of my wall, my page. Right That's gonna have all the letters already taken. When you send your money, you go on that post and you put a comment at the bottom of that post. What number you want when you send the money, okay? Don't send money without putting a comment on the post. I'm gonna pick your numbers for you. So I want the folks that are coming in while I'm still working. I don't know what to tell you, Gordon. I'm sorry, sir, if you're not following what I'm saying. I can't be more specific than what I'm being. Page Forge. What's going on, John? See you, Gordon. Mr. Robinette, how you doing, ma'am? to hear me? Is that what you're saying? What, do you, what is this junkin' shit? Thousand yard confusing me. Is this relevant to what I'm doing? I don't know. Sorry. Y'all have y'all's conversation. I'll do what I'm doing.
don't know where anybody's at, guys. They probably don't know I'm live. Have y'all shared the stream? Rob's lost in the woods somewhere. That doesn't surprise me, Ben. <laughs> Bob is well. Yes, Bob still forges. Still forges quite often. I don't have any beer. I just made the wand out of uh, mild steel. I don't know where they're at, Dad. I have no idea. The last 10 comments have been you asking where people are at, asking where people are. I don't know. Uh, Penny's probably asleep because it's like 1 in the morning there, maybe 2, something like that. She lives over in England. She's five hours ahead of me, Pop. So most likely she's asleep. Yeah, the wand made out of mild steel, man. Damascus wand. Yeah, that would look pretty damn cool. Or a wrought iron one, yeah. I agree. It'd be a lot of sanding though, I think. Get the masses to pop. The marble's just gonna be like a gemstone in the end. Go to my Etsy shop, guys. It's on my Etsy shop. <laughs> Go look at it, there's pictures of it there. There's pictures of the wand that I made. It's got the Am I, I'm missing something. I don't know what chat that I've got, and it's kind of aggravating the shit out of me. Oh, that's why. Top chat. No wonder it, the conversation just sounded so fucking random. Sorry, guys, if I've been an asshole. It's just, guys, conversation's been all over the damn place, and I, I can't understand what you're saying. But I had the wrong chat filter on. I had it on top chat instead of live chat. on slot 36. Yeah, Bob, Pops is just asking about you. You like the punch sets? They are pretty nice, aren't they? 41 of 40. blanks so it takes me right at six foot to make a punch set it comes in 12 inch links the bars do so cut it in half and that leaves me six foot i can get two punch sets out of one uh length stock that's why i choose to start with seven inch blanks to get a 10 piece set it helps me break down to an even amount of blanks out of that and i'm not looking i'm not wasted material, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, that's where you've been, Bob. Looking at building a gas forge soon. Good luck, man.
Mike's leaving. See you later, Mike. Thank you, Matt. I got a bunch of seasons of black walnut. so I won't do that out here. That's the gist of the wand, and then inside where that opens up, I'll put a marble, and it closed, wrapped the claw around it so it looks like a gem in the back. Yeah, thank you. Nice even twist is what you're after. product of it uh go to my etsy shop and there's several uh detailed pictures of the wand and what it's going to look like when it's Yes, the hot cut is forty one forty as well. I had a birthday, Tina. I don't know how wonderful it was, but I had one. It started off good at eight o'clock in the morning, but it didn't really ever climb back.
good deal, Sprinkle Donut, Mr. Duncan. Glad it works out for you, man. The twist is only four inches long. I wasn't in Vegas winning money. It'll be a fun time at Boise. Yes, I'm definitely getting some water. All right, Ed, we'll see you. How do I quench the hot cut? I do a differential temper on it. Differential heat treat, draw temper. Quench the blade, draw it back with the shank of the hot cut. Oil quench. shank now. Tapers up. Clean the taper just a touch with the press. We'll flip it around. Oil quench 4140. Um, depending on who you ask, Larger sections can be quenched in water, but you got to have large cross sections to do that. Small cross sections blow like an inch, I'd say. Don't ever quench your water, it'll crack. But larger cross sections, the bigger it gets, the quench to cool the whole thing down to through harden it. So.
standard punch set, steals and make. They are 4140. Uh, let's see, let's go over it. We have a ball punch. You'll have a square punch. You'll have a regular punch. You'll have a drift. You'll have a center punch. You'll have a fuller tool. A punch. Curve or a standard cut and chisel. Curve chisel. And slitting chisel. No, oh, it's five dollars per spot for the punch set. Five a spot for the punch set. Max sold spots are forty spots. You can purchase however many you want that are available. Make sure you put a comment on the post. Uh, make sure you put a comment on the post that of the number you want. The curve chisel is a type of a gouge scoop get in and tight corners with the chisel um, for decorative chisel things like that um, all kinds of different things for i use a curved chisel quite a bit like for instance on the uh, claw this uh wand i'm doing once i open it up it's hard to get a straight chisel down in there on a diagonal from it, all the other three without distorting the tube on each side of it but a curved chisel kind of goes down around it to where I can pull it out without distorting this one yeah see you later Billy thanks for hanging out man Cut. 
That's awesome to hear, Duncan. Thank you, Danville. Nita, what's up? Yeah, I think it's a very good uh, price on the punch set. It comes out to uh, right at $15 a piece for the punches. Set. If you buy the whole set, or they're like $19 a piece if you buy them individually, because you can't buy some of them individually. I just have it set up each listing is. It's a lot of work to do individual listings for every piece. But I'm getting there. It's the best deal to buy on this set, set though. I've thought about doing another one with all, all decorative punches, like maybe an eye punch, uh, a different size, like a round eye and an oval eye punch, things like that. The regular price for the set on Etsy is 150 plus shipping. Yeah, you guys like the price of that punch set? Go get you one. Hey, we'll see you later. Hey, you want to know what gets rid of chiggers? Fingernail polish. Fingernail polish and fingernail polish remover. Smothers them, kills them, takes them right out. How do I know I grew up in the country? I grew up getting chiggers. Yes, I normalize, well, normalize once, and then I thermocycle three times to do a grain reduction. Normalize and thermocycle the same thing, but not really. Normalizing just normalizes the grain. Once you get it normalized, then you start getting tighter and tighter with every cycle. Do you lower your heat every four, uh, normalizing cycle. Yes, 4140 still is oil quench. Oh, and everything is on sale right now in my shop until the end of the month.
on the market. inches. Okay, so right now I am at 20 inches. I got to take two inches off the end of this thing. Yes, I use hot res. Yes, Aaron, the heat treat app will tell you oil all day long on 4140, but like I said earlier, when you get into larger cross sections of 4140, I got some uh, paperwork in there that'll show you the heat treat for 4140 when you have more sections, because oil will not harden it through all the way once you get up to a certain size cross section. You'll have to switch to water. Anything on a small cross section is a uh, not want, you don't want to water quench that because it will cool down too fast and crack. But you can use water on certain in certain circumstances with 4140. Done it many, 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 many times on camera and off camera. Yeah, because it's got to cool it down at a certain speed. And once you get so big, the inside of the material stays so hot for so long that it keeps it from hardening all the way. My big hand, do I temper after? Yes, you temper everything after you harden. There's nothing you will ever make that you should have to temper. That's right, only experience will tell you when to use it.
the only hot tools that I don't heat treat are my hot, my hammer eye punches and hammer eye grits. I normalize those good and do grain reduction cycles on them, but I don't heat treat them because those things stay in the billet for so long that the first time you use them, you lose the heat treat on them, period. That's just how that is. It's a waste of time to heat treat them because that's why it's better steel on those. That's why you use good tool steel. You know, that's why I offer the S7 for those uh, tools because that right there, top notch steel for those kind of tools. If I were you making an anvil out of 4140, Depends. Depends on the size, the waist, all that. It's I don't I don't really know what to tell you on that one. I have never made an animal, so I don't know how to get the advice on that. I don't want to get the bad advice on that. Mousehole came from. If you didn't know that. Tip bit of info there. Raise your hand if you knew that. I know you knew it, Yamez. You learned it from me, you goober. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what the name Mouse Hole stands for. It's pretty neat. <coughs> they would actually bring it up out of the forge, open a hatch in the floor, right down through the floor with it in the river. Pretty cool. Oh, know it all. I'm doing all right.
127. If you guys want me to keep going, make something, maybe forge a knife or something, or want me to stop? Honestly. Alright, so one person got in the waffle. Alright. Well, I have to go get that number uploaded. Only one person got in there, so number 36 is gone. Anybody else want in on that rifle? Hit me up. I got a hammer for you right here. Gotta finish it. What do you think? You want this hammer bin? Just gotta finish it. To be honest with you, I'm a little tired. Relax. You are in on the waffle, Yamez. What are you talking about? Your name's all over it. Go read. Oh, it won't be free, Ben. What are you talking about? Men just gets get charged different. They get charged double. It weighs twice as much as you, man. I don't know if you can handle it. Bad swing with two hands. This is probably about, I'd say, three and a half pounds. It's going to be a rounding hammer. But, uh, yeah. Thank you tonight, guys. I'm going to show Yes, that would make an awesome stump. Anvil. For sure. Hell, it would make an awesome anvil. Eight inches long. Or 12 inches tall. Eight inch diameter. Yes, that'd be a great anvil if it's 4140. Hell, that'd be a great anvil for a power hammer. If you were building a power hammer, use that for your anvil. That's what I would do. To be honest with you. That's what I would use it for. All right, guys. We love you. Thank you for all the super chats, guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out. I know it's been a while since you got to hang out with me. And I do apologize. Uh, got something pretty big coming up this week. I fly out Sunday. So can't really tell you what it is yet. Don't want to get my ass in trouble. So just know. Say a little prayer for me. Everybody give me good wishes, good vibes. Hope everybody's in uh, about a week and may have to leave again. So, uh, Good luck to me. I appreciate all the support. And we'll catch you on the next one. After I'm done with all this that's coming up, guys, I promise I'll be doing more live streams regularly. I promise. All right. Peace. Hearts and health, better.